Nu är vi inne i Ubåtsmuseet och vi, har träff vi träffar här en uh, fransman. Hello there. Good morning everybody. Mm. Uh, can you, um, uh, you, let's see, your name is... Dominique Salle. Dominique Salle. And tell us a little about uh, the French side of submarines and what you have been doing in the submarine uh, so, navy. Yeah. I joined the navy in the French Academy mm. in 1971. Okay. 35 years after that, I retired as a rear admiral. Oh. My job by now is to be the president of the French Submarine Association. Oh. This association is about 1,600 guys Ooh. in 20 units okay. all around mm -hmm. the metropole, the, the country, oh. plus three overseas uh -huh. in Tahiti Island, in New Caledonia, in La Réunion Island. Oh, okay. So our job is to keep memory of submarines, mm -hmm. is to help old submariners mm -hmm. and make something like a public relation Mm. from the yeah. Navy to the young people. Yeah. We need people to come and drive submarines. I believe many are interested in how many submarines you have and if you can tell us a little about your uh, uh, basis and where you are situated with your submarines. It's in the Atlantic and in the Middle Sea also, I believe. Okay, so yeah. the, the French Navy mm change his way from conventional submarines or classic submarines mm -hmm. to nuclear subs. Yeah. By now, we get 10 subs, okay. six SSNs or attack submarines mm -hmm. and four SSBNs. Mm -hmm. The first of them are the attack submarines. They are nuclear sub by the nuclear plant and propulsion. Okay. The SSBN gets the same kind of propulsion. But they are nuclear also mm -hmm. because of the 16 missiles okay. they get aboard. For all these four ships, uh, 10 ships, we get two crews on each. Okay. That's the best way for us to get the best results from, from mm -hmm. submarines. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of economy, mm -hmm. we get something very expensive. We must use it in the best way. Mm -hmm. That's to say, every uh, seven day, 70 days, mm -hmm. we stop the, the sub for four or five weeks, mm -hmm. and after that, back to sea for 70 or 80 days. Okay. That's a reason for SSBN. Okay. For the SSN, two crews too, mm -hmm. but the first crew may stay at sea mm -hmm. for about two months or three or four months, and after that, mm -hmm. we may change the crew. Okay. For the BN, the change of crew came in the Brest Naval Base. For the SSN, who are all based in Toulon, mm -hmm. the change of crew can be made anywhere in the world. Okay. Whatever the mission gets a submarine. Okay. It can be in the Atlantic, it can be in the Indian Ocean, mm -hmm. everywhere. That's really interesting. So, Okay, we are now in uh, the center of this Neptune submarine. Uh, do you also have this kind of museum, submarine museums in France? Yes. We get in France yeah. four submarines, yeah. but all submarines are not in a special mm. place, they're outside. Okay. The oldest one is a 400 ton submarine, mm. whose name was Argonaut, mm -hmm. which is in Paris. Okay. The second one bigger, 800, 800 tons, is beside the old German submarine base in Lorient. Uh -huh. The third one is in Nantes. It's right. a 1,200 ton submarine, and in Nantes too is inside the okay. old submarine, the old German submarine base. Okay. And the fourth one is in Cherbourg, uh -huh. which is a place where the submarine was built. Okay. This submarine is the biggest nuclear submarine it can be visited. Uh -huh. It's Le Redoutable, uh -huh. with the first SSBN we ever get in France. Uh -huh. All these kind of ships. We are patrolling mm -hmm. every day since uh, 1972. Really? That's to say, uh, during uh, more than 50 years, every day mm -hmm. we get one SSBN at sea for deterrence okay. and deterrent battle. Well, the, then we have to go to France to check them up. 
<laughs> but uh, my last uh, question, how did you find this museum? This museum is wonderful because mm -hmm. that, uh, it's for me a comeback to history. Mm -hmm. When I came to the submarine for the first time, mm -hmm. it was about a, cl a classic submarine. Mm -hmm. And putting my hand in the periscope mm -hmm. is wonderful because last time mm -hmm. I looked through, it was in, uh, I guess, in, uh, in January mm -hmm. 2000, the last time I came back to surface as a commanding officer mm. of my last command, it okay. was uh, SSBM, La Flexible. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, uh, happy to see you and uh, hope we see you each other again in France. Thank what you. What I can say, yeah. tac. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. What's the way for you, for a nurse, to introduce yourself to a Frenchman? You say, hello, hello, that's clear. Okay, you must know that as an admiral, when we come on board, we come with empty pockets. If we need money, you ask the commanding officer, any person, give me money, I'm going to do something. It's exactly the situation I am now. I am in trouble. You must know that there is some reasons for French not to be in accordance with the royal kingdom. I were for six years in NATO, United Kingdom, and there I got all no trumps to be in accordance with Brits. I was a French, I was a rugby player, I was a submariner, all things against United Kingdom. Nevertheless, after six years, I know exactly the reason why I can be con con in confidence with Brits. What I knew from the time I spent in Northwood was this uh, bloody joke coming from the Brits. When you get a bow tie, it's a way for you to lose money, whether your bow tie is on elastic. If you want to earn money, you need a bow tie, a real one, a French one. That's to say, as a gift to Lars, because I want to keep good links, good nuts, between Sweden and France, I have something to offer you. It's Every time you get something, right? A cure. <laughs> That's the lesson one. How to unbind a bow tie. What I can do now is to give him a lesson to make the tie. Yes, yeah. it's exactly the situation for a commanding officer. We have to fire a torpedo. Do I get the right data to fire the bloody Brit? So, it's the first time I do that in such a position. Is it right? Oh, perfect. perfect. Oh. Thank you. Essentially, Naval Academy. As an hand to this thing, je veux, messieurs et madame, vous parler en français. Et je vais vous donner une leçon. When the French say, I know how I can buy a pack of cigarettes, you say, I can't speak English. <laughs> when you are English, you say, I can't speak French. When you understand exactly, what La Fontaine, or Corneille, all the fenicles of the bloody French, which is impossible to pronounce, to understand that. 
They say, I can see. That's to say, when you're a young, handsome, and uh, liaison officer on the, on the English, British frigate, you spend three nights running after sailors in La Rochelle. Where are they? In bars everywhere, even in police station. And you do your job to be understood, the whole ship. At the end of the call, the captain called you, Dominic. Vous fûtes vraiment merveilleux. Je voudrais vous faire un cadeau. Tout mon carré est capable de parler français. So I made my mind up to find some English words. They did that wonderfully, the French. I didn't know. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will give you a gift. Even you will have a gift. Swedish Navy, 500 years, too. And also a small model of the Swedish government. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Thank you. Thank you.